Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing's Minnetonka location. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's nice to be outside this afternoon. Yeah, we're outside at the U of M Lay Bolstead Golf Course. They've let us use their facility today. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be testing some golf balls. Thomas has hit some shots with uh, both models, uh, a variety of different shots with the Strixon Z-Star XV and the Callaway Chrome Soft X. Um, we're going to be looking at a variety of different uh, traits from each ball. We'll kind of start with distance here, Thomas. Um, you've hit tee shots, you've hit your iron shots, you've hit wedges. What do you notice in differences in terms of um, the distance for Strixon and Callaway here? Yeah, so I hit three shots with each ball. I did that pretty much with every single test that we did today. The Strixon did win out on distance. It did, did go a little, just a little mm -hmm. bit further. I think there was one there I carried 312. Uh, it was yeah. pretty soft out here today, and we got a, we got a shot of that you know, where that ball carried and where it ended up. I crushed that thing, so <laughs> it was pretty pretty sweet. Uh, so the Strixon did go a little bit further. It did feel a little bit harder off the club face as well, and probably spun a little bit less than yeah. what the Callaway Chrome Soft X did. Um, not really too much difference. There was one shot I did hit that did catch the tree with the uh, Callaway that was yeah. probably pretty, I mean, pretty close there as well. Sure. But pretty small sample size, but mm -hmm. yeah, Strixon did slightly go a little further. The Shrixon is widely used on tour by some of the longer hitters. I, you know, Ryan Fox, you mentioned on the European tour. Yep. Uh, Cameron Champ just got his second win on the PGA Tour. He is the longest hitter on the PGA Tour. He hits it real far. Hits it real yeah. far. Yeah. Lots of swing speed as well, but obviously yep. the ball helps him uh, get that carry distance. Uh, and then in terms of feel, what did you notice? Uh, obviously you mentioned kind of how the Shrixon was a little firmer versus the Callaway, what would you think there? Yeah, the Chrome Soft X was a little bit softer off the face. And I, I kind of like that. I, I felt like the Strixon just felt just a little bit hard for, mm -hmm. for my liking on feel. Um, for me, it just feels it's like it gives me an added insurance for around the green that I know I'm gonna be able to check that ball up. Mm -hmm. And then around the greens, we hit, you know, again, bunker shots, chip shots, pitch shots, a variety of different ones. Um, what did you notice in terms of spin and short game control from both balls? What I noticed was, so with the shorter shots, so the little pitch shots and bunker shots, the ball released out just a little bit more with the Strixon. The ball checked up a little bit quicker with the uh, Callaway Chrome Soft sure. X. However, when I hit the fullest shot, I was hitting that 100 yard wedge shot, I did notice that the ball did spin back pretty good there with the, with the Strixon as well. So it actually spun back a couple of those times, mm -hmm. hit a couple of pretty good wedge shots in there to that, to that green. Yeah. Um, my only concern with the Strixon ball was the durability. Yeah. The ball did, as we were kind of looking at it, you know, the, those one shot, notice how they had those scuff marks on, on it already from just having one wedge shot from 100 yards. Yeah, I yeah, know durability is a big thing for golfers out there when they're deciding to, uh, you know, pick a golf ball. Um, but one thing I noticed you were doing was a kind of a unique test um, just to kind of get a, a sense for the feel and sound of a golf ball. You're kind of just bouncing up on your wedge. Something pretty simple, but uh, what are you picking up from that? Yeah, so I do a few different things. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to feel, feeling what, the, what it feels like off the, off the face. Um, for me, it's, I don't know, it's just a feel test that it, one feels softer, one feels hard, harder or clickier. Mm -hmm. And you can actually notice the difference in the feel and, and, and also the sound just straight off the bat of which one felt a little bit, you know, a little bit harder which one had a kind of a little more kind of a dull feel to it. Yeah. And it's just, it's just a pure, simple test to just kind of yeah. compare. Not yep. anything yep. super complicated, no. just bounce no. it up off the wedge <laughs> a few times and yep. uh, you'll get, you know, some sort of preference out of that. Um, last thing we want to touch on is with Callaway and the Chrome Soft X, it's now being offered with their triple track alignment system. Uh, some visual cues, of three lines on the ball that are going to help you line up putts. Is that something that you take advantage of? It is something I've taken advantage of, actually. So I have actually been playing this golf ball for this specific reason this year. Um, I like to use a line, especially on the shorter putts, about 10 feet in. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been using the triple track on, on this golf ball probably since February, March this year, uh, since it was available. Um, I know Phil Mickelson was using it before it became available to the public on, on this golf ball, mm -hmm. and he's, he's a great putter from short range. So I think it's very, very beneficial, whether that be for putts, or even for drives, just to try and line yourself up yeah. at that target. So yeah, anything yeah. as basic as that can go a long way yep. for golfers. I don't need to draw any sharpie markers on there yeah. anymore, or anything like that. I know it's lined up straight. So. Absolutely. Yep. Well, yeah, we got two excellent golf ball options here: Callaway Chrome Soft X, Shrixon Z Star XV. Obviously, Thomas just explained all the different benefits that each ball will give you. Thomas, thanks for your insight today. Yeah, thanks, Drew.